On the edge of the Grand Canyon, an ancient Native American dance, a sacred plea for this land to be protected. The worry is that land surrounding the Grand Canyon could be opened up for large-scale uranium mining. Rising prices of uranium have sparked thousands of new claims in the area. 1,100 uranium claims have been filed within five miles of the park's boundary. If we think about what that looks like across the landscape, it looks like a park surrounded by a radioactive industrial zone. Conservationists contend that uranium contamination is unavoidable. We don't believe that the federal government or the uranium corporations can guarantee that uh, proposed mining activities would not impair and contaminate the aquifers that are discharging into a Grand Canyon National Park. At stake is over a million acres surrounding the canyon. Legislation currently being considered would permanently close the land to future mining. A recent congressional field hearing at the Grand Canyon brought Native Americans and politicians, conservationists and industrialists together. You talk about the well-being, the economic well-being of the people downstream the people in California, the people in Nevada. What about the well-being of the people who live in and around the Grand Canyon? This uh, uranium mining that is uh, being proposed and being done is a threat to the lives and uh, our livelihood on the reservation, the Wildfire Indian Reservation. Those arguing for the mine say jobs would be created and mining here would reduce our dependence upon imported uranium. I believe some 90 percent of the uranium we use in the United States today is imported. Uh, and I think one of the concerns of the American people is that where we can do so with environmental concern and protect our lands, we need to be relying more on our own natural resources. Uranium mining is not new to the canyon. Several mine sites and creeks are off limits due to contaminated water and soil. EPA estimates 40% of all western watersheds are impacted by mining, causing 28% of all toxic waste. So the notion that mining could affect, could impair waterways in the canyon is not speculation. Uh, it's grounded in fact. It's grounded in history. Uh, it's already happened. The Grand Canyon Watersheds Protection Act of 2009, if passed, would protect one of the world's treasured spectacles from one of its most notorious poisons. For Assignment Earth, I'm Bruce Burkhardt.